This demonstration illustrates how to perform a factory reset of a Net Backup Appliance 5330 through the Appliance Web Console. The purpose of an appliance factory reset is to return your appliance to a clean, unconfigured factory state. By default, a factory reset discards all storage configuration and backup data. However, before you initiate the factory reset, you can elect to retain the storage configuration, network configuration, and backup data if any currently exists. In addition, you can elect to restart the appliance after the reset completes. The appliance factory reset operation can be performed in two ways. That is, through the appliance web console and through Clish. In this demonstration, we will see the procedure to perform the appliance factory reset through the web console. Symantec recommends that you record your network configuration information before you begin a factory reset. To begin the factory reset from the appliance web console, open a supported web browser and type the appliance IP address in the address bar. When connected, log on to the appliance with the admin user credentials. Then click on the Appliance Manage tab and then the Appliance Restore sub tab and click Launch Appliance Factory Reset. Determine if you want to retain the storage configuration and backup data. If you do, Check the Retain Storage Configuration and Backup Data checkbox. Then determine if you want to retain the network configuration. If you do, check the Retain Network Configuration checkbox. Finally, determine if you want to restart the host automatically after the reset completes. If you do, check the Restart Host Automatically After Reset checkbox. When you are done with selecting the appropriate checkboxes, click Validate. After you click Validate, a pop-up appears to remind you that the validation is in progress. If the validation process completes successfully, a validation complete message appears and you can proceed to start the factory reset operation. Following a successful validation, click Start. An appliance factory reset pop-up window appears. This window informs you that the factory reset operation is irreversible once it is started. Click Yes to start the factory reset. Please note that once you begin the factory reset, you cannot perform any other functions on the Net Backup Appliance Web Console until the operation completes. Alternately, click No to stop the factory reset process and return to the previous page if you do not want to go ahead with the factory reset. After you click Yes, the Appliance Factory Reset window refreshes and displays status summary information. This page shows the progress of the factory reset operation for the appliance that includes the name of the appliance to be reset, the current version of software that is installed on the appliance, before the reset begins, the software version that is installed after the reset completes, and a progress bar that displays a percentage of completion. The details link in the status summary page 
enables you to view the details of the factory reset for the host that corresponds to the link that you selected. After the reset operation completes, the storage reset operation begins if you did not elect to retain your storage configuration and backup data at the beginning of this procedure. A storage reset message appears. Click on the word here to view details of the storage reset operation. After the storage reset operation completes, the appliance must be restarted. If you choose to automatically restart the appliance after the reset completes, a restart in progress pop-up appears. The contents of that pop-up reminds you that the network was reset and connectivity was lost during the reset process. Alternately, if you did not choose to automatically restart the appliance after the reset completes, a restart now window appears. This window prompts you to restart the appliance. Click OK to restart the appliance to complete the factory reset operation. When the factory reset operation completes, you can log on to the appliance using the default IP address which was assigned to port ETS0 which is 192.168.229.233 using the admin user account with the default password. When connected, you will need to reconfigure the appliance as you would during the initial configuration.